Hey buddies, what's up? PC Mentor is here and welcome back to a new video tutorial on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going to simply show you how you can download, install and uh, later on I will let you know that how you can customize the Knox emulator settings uh, according to the available resources on your PC or laptop. So everything I'll be going to show you in this video. Let's get started after this short intro. So what you have to do just make sure open your browser and here you have to type uh, the bignox.com this is the official android emulator website uh, from here we will be going to download this Nox uh, emulator okay as you can see here this is the android version 7.0 where you can download it from google drive here are the version log files uh, and uh, from this option you can download it for your mac but what we will be going to do we will be going to download android 9 beta so this is the beta release of the android Knox simulator and uh, here we go so now as you can see the file is now downloading and uh, once the downloading has been completed uh, we will be going to install it so just be patient for a while and uh, let me fast forward this video without wasting your time okay So now the file has been successfully downloaded i'm gonna open its folder and here we go so now this is the android emulator mark setup so this is the android 9 beta okay let me run it uh, in the administration privileges and uh, run as administrator okay now as you can see here it's gonna launch the setup i'm gonna click yes and uh, here we go so now the setup is being uh, initializing so we should have to wait for a while in order to now simply click on the install now here if you want to customize or change the default directory where the android emulator is going to install you can change it in the customize option okay so just to wait uh, or be patient for a while in order to install the nuts android emulator 9 and uh, let's see what's happened next okay now as you can see here the installation is almost complete 99% and here we go so installation is 100% successfully completed and uh, now let's get started the android Knox emulator and here we go okay so the initial starting of the Knox emulator takes uh, some time depending upon your computer and re available resources like uh, number of cores or threads uh, and uh, ram okay once you have the greater resources it will be launched very quickly okay so it takes some time the initial loading now it has been successfully open and uh, from here you can customize the icons uh, settings uh, anything according to your requirement okay so now this is the settings i'm gonna open it and uh, let you know that uh, what is the android version of this android Knox emulator okay so now here we go as you can see here this is the android 9 okay this is the updated version of the nox emulator that is in the beta release now let's customize the complete settings uh, of the nox emulator okay so now here you have to make sure to take to the root option okay most of the apps uh, and games uh, require this option in order to run smoothly okay so just make sure to do that uh, now let's customize the performance settings um, here as you can see here in the performance settings um, by default uh, my emulator has been set to 2 core and uh, 3 GB of the RAM. So what you have to do just check out your computer resources and uh, assign the number of cores RAMs uh, to this emulator according to the available resources of your PC. Okay once again I'm telling that uh, let me check my computer properties and uh, here we go. So now as you can see here I'm using core i7 2.5 gigahertz uh, and my current installed RAM is 8 GB. So what I will be going to do, I will be going to assign the resources to the Knox simulator according to the available resources. From here you can change the, the resolution settings of the Knox emulator. As you can see here by default it has been set to 720 pixel. Okay. So this is the HD settings. So from here you can change the mouse icons and the mouse settings or something like that. Okay. So every settings you can customize according to your requirement. Okay. So just do that in order to customize the settings and uh, still if you have any problem while installing downloading the Nox simulator let me know i will definitely reply you and help you out uh, from here you can maximize uh, 120 fps of your gaming experience uh, and uh, set it that okay mm, so this is uh, 
the game settings uh, and uh, from here you can create the random IMI number and uh, from here you can change uh, the model of your emulator okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set it to rock 2 SS rock 2 okay and uh, here are some settings as well backup settings of the or shortcut settings you can also customize that okay once you have done these all see the changes and uh, restart now what it will do it the changes that you have done it will take an effect once the android emulator has been restarted okay so if you click on the letter it will be taking effect later when you restart your android emulator so this was up to date that how you can download the and Nox emulator and how you can install it and later on i have all recent mention you that uh, how you can customize the complete settings uh, of the Nox emulator so this was up to today i hope you have find this video helpful make sure like this video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the recent post videos and notification on my channel and still if you have any problem regarding this video just let me know in the comment section and i will definitely help you that how you can fix and get rid of this problem okay so the Nox simulator has been successfully restarted and uh, here we go everything has been changed uh, according to the requirement that we have been setting in the settings uh, okay so thanks for watching once again and uh, make sure to subscribe the channel and see you in the next video